Yes, yeah, so I'm getting ready to do another update on the uh, Hammerhead GTS 150, but I'm um, working on the way out there. Got another project I'm working on, my trailer. This is what I'm hauling the Hammerhead on. And we haul our kayaks on this too, so I'm kind of going to make a, like a covered wagon type deal up for this thing, but that's going to be another video series. For right now, it's like got a little bit of cloud cover. I got uh, worked on the uh, steering on this the uh, the um, um, alignment issue on this. With the um, with that bottom A arm castle nut being loose like that, I get through this this tire, this wheel, way out of alignment, I'm almost an inch out, so, and this one here was a little bit out of alignment, but I got them a little bit towed in here, towed them in a little bit, and, but the, the thing about this is, I don't know if you can get this, back, the back wheel comes I'll go back here and do this you can see the see the front wheels stick way out it's pretty stable in the front but uh, so I had to line it up I took what I did is I took a a steel straight edge over here one of my angle irons on here and I put it uh, I put it up against the, the, the wheel itself and up the middle I I aimed it to the middle where the middle of the tire is and it was way out and and I just moved moved this uh, the arm here, the adjustment arm, to, to do the toe in, toe out business. So I got I got that straightened up. Um, I did the oil change, um, and it the oil uh, this down here. This is where let's see that right here. There's an oil screen there that you can pull out, change it. It was pretty clean. And then down the other side, a 17 millimeter nut, there's a drain plug and I just drained the oil and filled it up. And uh, 750 milliliters. I need to use this thing. You know, that's 600 milliliters at top and 100 and 175. I need to see that. So I, so I just measured that out and poured that in there. So I got the uh, oil changed. That was the oil. They're pretty black, but it didn't smell burn or any, burned up or anything like that. So it just smelled like regular oil. But I don't think it's ever been changed. So, so far, this is where I'm at. And I'm getting ready to. I want to get in here and uh, check the um, valve adjustment on this thing. So I'm getting ready to do that so I can put the seat back in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the seat out. This is the driver's seat. The slider for the adjustment on the seat is, is all tight. I want to take it off and see if I can get it loosened because my uh, my lady is a lot shorter than me and she'll need to be closer to the steering wheel or to the feet pedals. So, so that's where I'm at. And I'm going to, I got this. Uh, gold spray paint 
the shiny stuff. I'm gonna do the uh, wheels, the wheel wells with that. So, and I'm end up, and I still gotta, gotta work on the uh, the hand the handbrake is is sticking. I gotta re readjust that. And that's down here. So I have to figure out how to adjust the handbrake on this. And I think it's uh, too too tight in there, so I, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But uh, but the uh, oh, and last night I was I took it for a test drive and I was having trouble with the uh, with the forward reverse. And this this is the this one came loose and it was it stopped couldn't shift it back into neutral or anything so I had to out on the street the, the whole nut came out so I got a I'm going around tightening all the nuts on this thing so getting it back into order so there's our portable garage getting ready to put this up and it'll be it'll go right where this right where I'm standing here 17 10 by 17 so I'm trying to think of a name for this thing I'm thinking about uh, instead of hammerhead I'm thinking about uh, Tito's head uh, and uh, thought I'd like Cheetos, you know, and there's a you know, politically, I don't know if that's politically correct or what, <laughs> but I like orange is probably my uh, my favorite color, so orange man, good, orange is good. I like orange, I like Cheetos. Okay, so there we go. This is it for now. I'm gonna get ready to, I might, I might show you a little bit of the process. Of doing the um, doing the valves, so I don't know. Let's see, I'm not real good at trying to film while I'm working on something, but that's where I'm at right now. And I'm gonna take these uh, the bottom of the chair, or the seat. I'm gonna weld the the bolts in back here. I was having a hell of a time getting that bolt. It was just loose. It was loose fitting in there. I had a hell of a time getting it. And I figured out that I had to rip forward, put the seat forward to actually get it in there right. Uh, and I had to take a, a hammer and, and bang the, uh, the, the rails <laughs> to get it to move. So it's pretty stuck in there. I'm going to have to take it off again. I put it on just to take a drive yet last night. But so far, the shifter is running pretty smooth you can hear it clicking and that's forward the rooms are from neutral and that's the reverse put it in neutral I'm thinking if I put it in forward and, and maybe try to roll it to get it at top dead center I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get it to top dead center I don't know if I can, I'm going to try to um, take the cover, take the valve cover off and see if I can um, turn the um, the cam gear to get it at top dead center, I don't know. But I'll take the spark plug out and check, check it that way too, as you can bring the piston up, take it like a stick or something, and then, ra and then raise it. And I'll try. I'll see if I can do it without. Cause I I don't know if you can turn the wheel, and uh, it'll turn it'll move the engine. I'm not sure if that works that way. So we'll find out. That's it for now.